1981, I made my first visit to Thiruvayar. We had gone as a family. And uh, that day it was very late, around 10.45, the national program and all had finished. And suddenly there was an announcement. Aduthi Tanja or Kalyandraman avarkal padigirar. My father immediately said, Va, 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 pidinna. Yen pa, pidinna. GNB sishyenda, va, va, pidinna. So I went to, I went and he said, look out, avar eppu me unique ka edavu padu varam. Now if you went to Thirubiyar and spent five days, you would have, by the end of the fifth day, you would have listened to some 70 Chere Sagaras, some 63 Chakani Raja, some 45 Marugelara. And this man comes up and promptly sings an outstanding alapana of Dhenuka. That was Kalyan Raman at that time. It was a huge name among the connoisseurs, among musicians. Like for instance, when I started singing concerts, I would go to All India Radio. And in the morning, as soon as I went, TV Vasan was a gutter artist would say, Na or Aramani Munadi on the Kwa, Kalyan Raman Pada recording much to parar. Ketrick Lamoli Pinad in India. I mean you missed that chance, you know. And then you were playing, uh, you were going for a recording. Uh, M.A. Sundaration will be playing violin. You know what you're saying? Sankara, you're saying, Kalyandra, you're going to play a song. Kanaka sabbe saldhati senam kandain Anandam kolde dillai Kanaka sabbe saldhati senam kandain That's what I'm saying. So I love that Pallavi. Now, let's tell you what I'm saying. You learned the Pallavi. Next concert, Sundaresh will be playing violin. I will sing this Pallavi. He'll say, Chah, yenna maa padir kariya Kalyan Raman. We would have forgotten that he taught me the Pallavi. I sang it at that concert. What remained for us was, yes, Kalyan Raman. He was the man. I mean, like this, you heard these stories. Then I wanted to learn uh, uh, his Thilanas sometimes. Once I was in the US. And then Sri Mushnam Raja Rao was, uh, we were in the same house. He said, Nanjuli Thira Vabda. Di Thilana Thaka Thilana Thaka Jannuti. Takadim, 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 tillan, abdin kalyan ram tillan, hindi takadu ko. Immediately he will sing. I mean, he was such a huge name in the musical community and everybody would refer to him in such exalted terms. Now, I, for my first interaction when I started singing was in around 1990, Mr. R.T. Chari conducted a series of concerts in, uh, chamber concerts in Poets Garden. Now, I was also singing the, in that series. And uh, the day I sang, uh, Kalyan Raman came to listen to the concert. Now there is the one vachanam in Tamil. You don't care who, whether it's Kalyan Raman or GNB, you sing, the, you think you are the greatest singer on that day, you get on stage and you do whatever you can and you know, beam happily and come out. So <laughs> I did all that and stepped off the stage, he came up to me and he said, I am happy, you are working hard. Keep it up. That's all. Nothing more. Now you can take it both ways, you know. Big man, is he complimenting me? Or is he saying, you know, you have lots more to achieve. This is not enough. But see, when you are young, you look for all these things. And you are happy that somebody with that stature is actually coming up to you and saying something, you know. Because, see, they all looked out for you. They wanted you to do well. And they looked out for you and they gave you these small things for you to imbibe and take. I mean, that's what it was. I had another friend called Tarak. His father, Mr. T.S. Vedagiri, along with two other people, had written the biography of GNB. So he was very close to me. We used to discuss recordings, collect tapes. So one day he said, Hey, what are you doing? I said, I'm going to go to personal. He said, I'm going to go to the recording. So we both happily went. He was living in Greenways Road at that time. And we walked into his house and said, Ah, come, come, come. Ah, you're going to go to the party. And I said, and we had a lovely session of about 2-3 hours. He would play his recordings. He would say, This is in Bombay. This is in the Nagayam Urlu. This is in the Nagayam Urlu. This is in the Nagayam Urlu. And Mary, you know, he would point out to these recordings. And he had this one small aluminium box. It was like a suitcase. You know, you would carry school books to school in those days. That kind of box. So, he would open, take out those tapes and play it to us. And, you know, then he would whistle. Then I tried whistling, then he'll say, Ah, whistle edi kerche, kaathu ulla udu kuda de. Veli edi na udu na. Minta he will teach you how to, he taught you how to whistle. And then finally he said, You know, what do you do? Ni evandhi kalkata akshra murthi intadana kathikira. Why don't you come and pick up a few songs from me? Abdi inna. I would have loved to go, but somehow time never happened. But fortunately, much later, Boshani Kalyan Raman was so kind to send a diary of several of his songs, his tunes, his tillanas to me. And then I picked up many songs from his repertoire and sang. My guru was a huge fan of Kalyan Raman, friend and fan. He would always talk a lot about Kalyan Raman. He would say, 
அவனை மாதிரி யாரும் பாட முடியாதுடா என்ன ஒரு சாரீரம் என்ன ஒரு சங்கதி ஒரு ஒரு ராகமும் பாடுறச்சு கஷ்டமான ராகங்கள்லாம் எவ்வளோ ஈஸியாக பாடிட்டு போயிடுவான் அப்படின்னா நிறைய ஹி வுட் ஆல்வேஸ் டாக் அபவுட் கல்யாணம் அப்படி நீ டீச்சர்ஸ் மீ ஜிஎன்பி காம்பசேஷன்ஸ் இந்த சங்கதி ஜிஎன்பி ஒரிஜினல் கிடையாது இது கல்யாண ராமன் சேர்த்துட்டு அது மாதிரி யூனோ தே வில் ஆட் தீஸ் எம்பலிஷ்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஸ் தே ஆர் டீச்சிங் யூ அண்ட் யூ லேர்ன் அபவுட் இட் தென் மென் கல்யாண ராமன் பாஸ்ட் அவே ஐ ஹெட் கான் டு சி மை குரு ஹி வாஸ் லுக்கிங் வெரி டல் ஹி வாஸ் ஹிஸ் ஹெட் வாஸ் டவுன் லைக் திஸ் ஹி லுக் அப் டு மீ அண்ட் சே கல்யாண ராமன் போயிட்டான் மேலே கருத்தாக போயிடுது on that note see you soon